So what we can do is just clip and crop it down. And then what we could actually do is make this eight bars and then duplicate. And we can elaborate on that further. So what we could actually do is have two at a higher octave. Shift, down. Or what we could also do is take every other one. So this is what tends to happen. You get some at a lower octave, you get some at a higher. It's all good. So you'll get something like this. master EQ here so you can just add a little bit of treble take a bit of bass out again one of the things that's really nice here actually is because these effect a and b are actually inset what i can do is i can turn off a and i can actually have a parametric eq so i'll just take a lot of that low end out beautiful the idea but what's really nice as i mentioned before is the whole two-part thing and i've just actually had a bit of an idea so what we could do is that we can go into one of these other ones and actually oh this is going to be cool you could actually do something like this you could get some of the other ones some of the other elements now you've got the two here click done let's go to edit preset and what you can then do is a couple of different clever things. So let's say I play that, I turn that off. Now that doesn't necessarily work on the higher layer, right? So what you could do is, is go to keyboard settings because it'll pop up when you've got a second one loaded up and what you could actually do is say actually we can actually make the low part of this only operate on the higher octaves and then we can take this one on part one drop that down like so, and actually, yeah, we want that to be on there. Like so, I'll do. And then you've got. Right, I mean, you've got one instance of the plugin. You've got the same lead sound going through two different layers, being treated in slightly different ways, and operating on the same basis of MIDI. 
that could also be saved as a preset. As you can see, save preset as. Brilliant stuff.